Fall is finally gone here in Michigan and we got some snow. Now, albeit this is our first snow and it is very wet. We had quite a bit of snow come down yesterday. Then it turned to rain for a while and then back to snow. So the bottom of the snow is very slushy. I went over this DeWalt 60 volt snow blower in a previous video before we had snow going over my concerns of all the extra power features. Like when we turn this guy on, we can move our chute back and forth. That to me was one more thing to break. This thing is expensive expensive and you have to buy it in the kit because you get the two 12 amp hour flex volt batteries. Very interesting snow blower, top to bottom. I'm using this in a commercial setting. It's doing all my sidewalks and I'm thrilled with the battery life. I can go out, do a lot of sidewalks and granted I'm running on eco mode in the sidewalks because I don't want to blow the snow far I'm just blowing it off the sidewalk into the parking lot then plowing it with the big truck I cannot give you pictures of that that's not going to be great people wouldn't be happy with me filming on the commercial lots with that said I came back after it's done went to a house and I just started moving some snow around and I wanted to show you what I found while using this first the power shoot back and forth in a commercial setting especially when it's windy is absolutely amazing you can have both hands pushing forward you don't have to release one and have it move around to move a shoot it's not necessary but it is absolutely awesome it is well worth the price of admission per se for this number two I was a little bit disappointed in how well this unit cleaned things up and First, you have the scraper on the bottom that leaves a little bit, and I think that's gonna wear in. But you also had a good amount of snow that would come forward out of the snowblower and collect where you've already moved the snow from. That caused me in some cases where I had to use the snowblower alone to just push without it running and clear places off or get out a shovel. With that said, it's not uh, that big of a deal I will still continue to use this and I'm still very happy with the performance but let me just bring you in and show you what we're looking at a little bit on the bottom of the scraper so for whatever reason we have a smooth portion up front that maybe is not getting down as tight as we'd like it to but then you have these lines after and these lines actually leave lines in the snow and you can see it it's not horrible but it, it's something that if you want things perfectly clean. Uh, this doesn't get it perfectly clean. And I'm doing a budget snowblower review of a Greenworks and a Wild Badger. And if we just look across at the Wild Badger and then the Greenworks and then come over to the DeWalt, the Greenworks by far just is totally clean. The DeWalt's even worse than the Wild Badger. And that is a little bit of a disappointment. If you are looking for absolutely clean performance, maybe you wanna take a look at a snowblower that has more of a rubber paddle on the front that goes around and picks up the snow, scrapes against the driveway, and then also helps you a little bit with forward propulsion. Uh, there, Toro makes a few. Toro does have a battery operated one out. I have it. It, it doesn't uh, fit my needs, I guess, for sidewalk cleaning, although it's nice because when you're pushing these they're scraping so hard if there is a small variation in the cement or the concrete you hit that and it will stop you in your tracks where the other one with the rubber paddles will pull you along over and it, they're kind of nice you have to really want to have one or the other i don't i like the fact that i can have my whole truck set up as dewalt and that is what makes things work well for me now as far as how far I could throw the snow. It didn't throw snow very far. I didn't need it to because I was running it on eco, but I did test it out while I was in the driveway. I ran it on normal, I ran it on eco, and I ran it on high, and it did pretty fair with this very, very heavy snow. So if you're looking for this to throw 40 feet, it's not gonna, most likely. It might if you get it into deeper, lighter snow, but as far as what I'd consider average snow for the person who's gonna buy this, you're not getting it to throw 40 plus feet. 
However, DeWalt says that you can clean 16 parking spaces. That made me incredibly nervous while I was out cleaning sidewalks because I'm cleaning very long sidewalks around parking lots and around buildings. And I can tell you after a full morning of snow plowing and snow blowing, I still have a very significant amount of battery left. Let's just say half and that to me is absolutely perfect. The ability to see this was awesome. It took me a few minutes to get used to the paddles because I've never had that before, but man, it was amazing. I did find that when I'm backing up, I would pull this into me and I would end up pushing this button that would get me into high, eco, and normal. And I did that basically just by picking things up. I didn't it didn't bother me, but every once in a while I'd look down and be like, oh, I'm on high, or oh, I'm on eco, or I'm on normal. Just things that happen. Overall, $999 for this, I'm pretty happy. It's, there's things you can get that are a lot better for the same money. If you get a big gas two stage for that money, it's gonna do a lot better job than this. But for me, I can still pick this up, put it in the back of my truck over top of all the sandbags, I can use it for the sidewalks. It does a good enough job for me and the fact that I have the motor I shoot really works well, but overall I'm sticking with this, not because I'm a DeWalt fanboy, but because the rest of my truck is DeWalt now and that works. So this guy's far from perfect. It doesn't clean down to the concrete very well. It throws snow over and onto areas that you've already cleaned, but it does have some amazing things with the chute that moves around. It does have great power and it does have wonderful battery life. And it is a tool battery, so you can use this battery in other tools that you own. And I think that makes it worth its value. I'll leave that up to you. And I'd love to hear your comments about that below. Check out the other video where we went over the whole unit, top to bottom, told you all the things that could break, what's here, because there are some things in this that kind of make me scared long-term as to what might work, what might not. But if you know the electronics, you can fix all this stuff pretty easily. Still interested in your comments below. Thank you for your time. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.